So we, we've seen uh, some very impressive results with CAR T cells in ALL and in NHL, and particularly with aggressive lymphomas. The results in CLL are uh, not as good. Um, we, we have nonetheless um, demonstrated that using a CD19 specific CAR T cell uh, product called JCAR14, we could achieve some deep and durable uh, responses in patients refractory or having relapsed after ibrutinib. So we, we try to go a little further and there, there is actually a, a body of data, preclinical, clinical data that suggests that combining ibrutinib with CAR T cells can be beneficial. So why, why is that? Um, so it could be beneficial because sometimes you stop ibrutinib just before the infusion of CAR T cells or before the full depletion and patients have what we call a tumor flare, the lymph nodes get much bigger, this rapid tumor progression. So by continuing ibrutinib that might, be, might, that might be beneficial. The other thing is that there is evidence that ibrutinib helps the CLL cells migrate from the lymph nodes into the peripheral blood which potentially could be a, a Easy, they would make it easier for CAR T cells to kill them. And the two last thing is that there is actually uh, evidence that ibrutinib might improve the functionality of the CAR T cells, so improve the anti-tumor effect of the CAR T cells. And last, there's also evidence in the murine model that ibrutinib may prevent cytokine release syndrome. So a kind of toxicity that we see uh, often after CAR T cell therapy. So this is the background.